Hi, my name is Anoop Jain. I'm currently a graduate student at the Tulane School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine, where I'm studying maternal and child health. I graduated from Northwestern University in 2009 with a degree in environmental engineering. After graduating, I was able to secure $40,000 in funding through the generous donations of friends and family to implement public health initiatives in India. These projects focused on nutrition, but as I spent more and more time with the various communities, two other problems quickly emerged the lack of toilets, and the lack of access to electricity. India is a country with almost 1.2 billion citizens. It is astonishing to think then that nearly 650 million of them defecate outside every single day. In addition, 400 million of them live without electricity. The geographic location we are looking to work in is the northeast Indian state of Bihar. Every single day, hundreds of millions of Indians wake up in the morning, leave their homes, and walk to the fields in search of a safe and secure place to relieve themselves. For some individuals, including women and children, this can take up to almost one hour every morning. Outdoor defecation is a public health nightmare. It is a source of a variety of communicable diseases including cholera, diarrhea, and parasitic infections, among other things. It is also devastating India's female youth. When young girls reach puberty, they are often forced to drop out of school because their schools have no toilets where they can safely change their sanitary pads. I had spent a significant amount of time with villagers in Bihar trying to think of solutions to combat both issues, the lack of toilets and the lack of electricity. I came back to the U.S. and started to think and do research on how to accomplish this. Suddenly, the idea hit me. I quickly assembled an interdisciplinary team and began working on the details. What if instead of going out to the fields to relieve themselves, villagers could walk to a conveniently located community block of toilets? Their waste could then be collected in a large biogas digester. When left at the right conditions for the right amount of time, human waste, like any other organic waste, will decompose and produce methane gas. This gas can then be used to power a generator that can then supply electricity back to the community. Unfortunately, only 1.2% of the village we are currently working in is connected to the electrical grid. To circumvent this problem, we had to make electricity portable. I came up with the idea to charge 12 volt batteries, which could then be rented out to the community through a monthly membership program. Our team is extremely proud of the fact that our innovation is connecting already proven and existing technologies. There are obvious benefits to providing toilets, the decreasing incidences of various communicable diseases. Electricity also has its benefits. It allows villagers to lead more productive lives after the sun goes down. Currently, villagers spend an average of 15% of their annual incomes on buying kerosene for lighting. Our battery rental program will be significantly cheaper. You can help make the Human Year Power Project a reality by taking two minutes of your time to create a profile page on the Dell Social Innovation Challenge page. Then, you can vote for our initiative and help us secure funding to go and take our project to the next level this coming summer in India. You can also check us out at our Facebook page by following the URL www.facebook.com forward slash HP project.